Well, the White House on this Monday morning waking up to another set of disappointing poll numbers with 53% of registered voters saying they disapprove of President Biden's performance as president. And a bad sign for the Democrats before the midterms of next year as 51% of registered voters say they would vote for a Republican House candidate if uh, the voting was today. 41% would vote for the Democrats. Fox News contributor and former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich is the author of the new book, Beyond Biden. He joins us right now to react. Mr. Speaker, good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, that, and that, it does look a little bit more like it's beyond Biden. Yeah, it does look uh, beyond Biden. So as you look toward the midterm, you know, if, if you're a Democrat, you're looking forward to the president signing that uh, bipartisan infrastructure thing today because he needs some sort of a win. They regard it as a win. But if you're a Democrat, you've got to be thinking, did we overplay our hand? You know, Mark Halpern did a great column this morning and pointed out that it, that, that's, that story is going to be drowned. It's going to be drowned, first of all, by what happens in Wisconsin in the trial. It's going to be drowned by the argument on CNN that there's a deep, bitter split between Kamala Harris and Joe Biden and their staffs. Uh, it's going to be drowned by what's happening in terms of the House itself. So I think they're going to get a very tiny bump out of that because the truth is when you talk, for example, about roads, the average person thinks, oh, yeah, I just filled up my car or my truck and I can't afford it because Biden's policies are failing. And if this inflation continues, the current poll numbers, which are the strongest we've seen in 40 years for Republicans, are going to get bigger, not smaller, because people just can't afford to live in, yeah. in a Biden inflation world. And you know, Newt, there's also, as we had, we're almost to Thanksgiving, the Santa Claus effect. There are so many people who are freaked out thinking <laughs> that there aren't going to be the gifts they want to give this year because of supply chain and they can't afford it because of inflation and stuff like that. And according to this new poll, a majority of Americans say the reason behind that is the president. They blame the president directly. Yeah, I mean, one of the challenges of being president, whether you're Donald Trump or Barack Obama or Joe Biden, is you actually are seen as the leader of the country. Yeah. And so if things go well, you get the advantage. If things go badly, you get the punishment. Uh, and I think people are looking out there, you know, Kamala Harris, to her credit, way back when she was visiting Vietnam, had this cryptic comment where she said, you know, you'd better be ordering your Christmas gifts early because yeah. she'd been briefed on uh, the, the logistics supply chain problem. The problem they've got is they didn't do anything about it. Uh, Buddha judge, who in theory, I guess, could be responsible, took two months off for parental leave, which I think by the time you get to be a cabinet officer is almost unimaginable. He hasn't solved anything. The, the secretary of energy asked about what she was going to do about gasoline prices, broke up laughing as though she were Kamala Harris. Uh, people look at this total lack of ability uh, to get anything done. And they blame the president. That's, that's just how life works uh, in a free society. You elect them, they either deliver or you decide not to reelect them. Sure. And ultimately, uh, we saw a poll about a week ago where a majority of people in the, the president's own party uh, don't want him to run for, they want somebody else to run for, for president. Because when he ran for president, Newt, he was running as a centrist moderate. And now fast forward to, you know, the end of the first week of November of 2021, his first year. And it's like, he's not a moderate at all. Look, I think Ted Cruz captured it perfectly when he said that Biden combines the incompetence of Jimmy Carter with the radicalism of George McGovern. Uh, that's a very dangerous pattern, uh, and it's one which is not getting better. When, when you see the President of the United States fall asleep in public at a global warming conference as he warns us how big a deal global warming is, you, first of all, you cringe for America. I mean, I, whether you're a Democrat or Republican, having an American president look so weak and so out of it, and that's why the British announced yesterday they're prepared to send a combat team into Ukraine uh, if the Russians were to invade Ukraine, because <clears throat> the British, I think, have lost any sense that Biden would be capable of standing up to the Russians. And so you're going to see more and more assertiveness by our allies because they think this is such a weak administration. Check out his new book. It's called Beyond Biden. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, thank you very much for joining us live.
Good to be with you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.